The United States Border Patrol has exciting and rewarding career opportunities with the nation's largest law enforcement organization. Border Patrol agents enjoy great pay, outstanding federal benefits, and up to $20,000 in recruitment incentives. If you are looking for a way to serve something greater than yourself, consider the U.S. Border Patrol. Learn more online at cbp.gov slash careers slash USBP. That's cbp.gov slash careers slash USBP. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Father Knows Best. Yes, it's Father Knows Best, transcribed in Hollywood, starring Robert Young as father. Christmas Day in the white frame house on Maple Street. Since early this morning, when little Kathy scrambled downstairs to see what Santa had left under the tree, the Anderson household has been in a whirl of holiday excitement. Phones ringing, friends dropping in. What a wonderful day. And now comes the nicest part of all, the warm afterglow of Christmas night. Dinner is over, and all the Andersons, Jim, Margaret, Betty, Bud, and Kathy, have gathered in the living room with just the lights of the tree and the glow of the burning log in the fireplace. Like this. You know, dear, I think that's the prettiest tree we've ever had. Yeah. Look at the stack of presents around there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how old St. Nick delivered all those things. <laughs> You must have had a sleigh with a trailer on it. This was simply the most out-of-the-world Christmas, Father. My new robe is just too utterly, unbearably yummy. <laughs> Look at this telescope, Mom. You can see stuff a mile away. Oh, it's wonderful. Where'd you find it, Jim? Oh, in a little shop downtown. Did you see my stove, Daddy? It's just like a real one. Oh, that's a dandy, kitten. How'd you like the present I gave you, Betty? Oh, it's real nice, Kathy. I've always wanted a dog leash. <laughs> Yeah, that'll come in real handy if you ever get a dog. <laughs> what did you get, Mom? Oh, so many lovely things. French perfume and this beautiful tea set. Oh, Jim, you shouldn't have done it. Well, you like it, don't you, honey? Oh, of course, but put on your new housecoat, Mother. Let's see it. <laughs> well, I'll have to shorten the sleeves just a little. <sighs> but isn't it beautiful? Gee, Mommy, you could wear that to a party. With my new slippers, won't I be elegant? Did you find the present I gave you, Mom? I certainly did, Bud. I'm in love with that new mop. <laughs> it has a long handle, so you don't have to stoop over. Did you see it over there, Dad? Oh, Bud, that's a beautiful mop. It's so dark in here, I can't see. Is it blonde or brunette? Feel my new doll's hair, Daddy. Isn't it soft? Oh, that's real soft, kitten. You know, that's the kind of hair you can really wash and give permanence and everything. Can I wash it now? Not now, Angel. Father, how did you know that I was simply dying for this necklace? This very necklace. I don't know, Princess. Just mental telepathy, I guess. Around Christmas, a fellow just seems to pick up thought waves. Well, you certainly must have read my mind on this compact, dear. It's exactly what I wanted. I don't know how you did all this, Father. Well, you're the only family I have. Everything is so excruciatingly perfect. Betty, what's that package over there? Oh, that's my present from Bud. Isn't it nice? What is it? A collapsible water bucket. <laughs> now, that's a handy thing to have. Sure, it's keen for bailing out a boat. Daddy, do you want to hear a record? I can play it on my new phonograph. Holy cow, did you get a phonograph too? Sure, and games and books and everything. I don't think any family ever had a nicer Christmas. I can't believe all these things are for me. And look at all the things Father brought for me. Oh, this portable radio is dreamy. Just dreamy. How about the stuff he got for me? Football and a camera and a fishing outfit? Gee, thanks, Dad. Well, it's Christmas. Everybody just got everything. Father, you haven't showed us your things. Yo, what did you get, Dad? Oh, I got a lot of things here. Let's see them, Daddy. Well, I got a... 
A necktie from Betty. And a nice uh, nail file from Kathy. Uh, well, dear... And I got a blotter from Bud. <laughs> oh, I had a fine Christmas. Is that all you got? A nail file and a necktie and a blotter? Well, what's wrong with that, Princess? I'm very happy. Betty, uh, isn't there something missing? What's that long package behind the tree? That belongs to Mrs. Phillips. It's a present from Mr. Phillips, and she asked me if she could leave it over here. They're out of town for the holidays. Look, don't worry about it. I needed a nail file. <laughs> Dear, I've been wanting to tell you. I ordered a new briefcase for you, and Bud bought a beautiful leather desk set to go with the blotter... But there was a mix-up in the delivery. Oh, honey, and... I don't mind. It's been a wonderful Christmas. Really, it has. Gee, Daddy, you didn't get anything. Everybody got stuff but Dad. Um, well, you haven't seen your real present yet, Father. What's this? We wanted it to be a surprise. That's why we kept it for the very last. You hiding something from me, honey? Well, this is news to me, dear. It's from Bud and Kathy and me. A present from all of us. Me too? Sure. <laughs> You know about it, Bud. I do? Do I know about it, too? Oh, of course. Gee, I know things I didn't even know I knew. <laughs> what kind of a plot are you kids hatching? Now, you never mind, Father. You'll see. Shall I uh, close my eyes and hold out my hand? Not yet. Hey, Betty, I think we ought to have a meeting. Yes, we have to talk privately. Uh, will you excuse us? Oh, yes, but... Oh, where are you going? Up to my room. Come on, bud. I'm coming. Wait for me. I'm coming, too. <laughs> Secret meetings now. What are the kids cooking up, honey? Oh, don't ask me. Apparently, Betty has some kind of a surprise Christmas present hidden away for you. They didn't tell me anything about it. <laughs> How do you like that? I wonder why they didn't put it under the tree with the other things. <laughs> I don't know. I'm as curious about all this as you are. Don't come up. I won't. Now, what do you suppose it is? Well, maybe it was too big to put under the tree, like a horse. <laughs> I can't imagine what the kids would get from me. Want to sneak up and listen at the keyhole? Oh, no. But I can't help wondering. You know, I'd give a nickel to know what they're talking about up there. So would I. Okay, I locked the door. Now, what's the big secret? Yeah, what do I know that I don't know? Poor father, after all the perfectly gorgeous things he gave us, he gets nothing but a necktie and a nail file. I could simply have cried. Yeah, old dad knocks himself out for everybody else and he gets nothing. It was a pretty good nail file. I paid a dime for it. <laughs> well, we're not going to let him down. We're going to give him something that's utterly out of this world. Gee, it's, it's lucky that you got something for him. What is it? Let's see it. See it? I haven't got anything yet. You haven't got it? You told him we had a big surprise. You said I knew about it. Well, I had to say something. We couldn't just sit there with egg on our faces. Bud, have I got egg in my face? <laughs> Holy cow. Get up off the floor, you big ox. It's still Christmas. We'll get a present for him. Something super. Get a present? Where? Well, we'll find one somewhere. We've got to. We've simply got to. We can't buy anything. The stores are all closed. I could give him one of my dolls. Oh, he'd adore that. Oh. <laughs> Quit yakking and think. We haven't got all night. Where can we get a present for Father? Now, everybody think. Bud, don't just sit there looking dumb. I'm thinking. I thought of something. What? Patty Davis has some kittens to give away. Oh, that would be great, wouldn't it? We tell Father we have a gorgeous present for him and then give him a cow. Two of the kittens are part Persian. Oh, don't be a nitwit. It has to be something big. Let's give him the mother cat. <laughs> oh, clinkers and blinkers, forget the cats. It has to be something lavish like a... Well, like a set of power tools or a beautiful camera. Hey, or... Joe Phillips has a camera. What kind? Oh, I don't know, but it's in one of those fancy leather cases you carry around your neck. One of those real snazzy little ones? Yeah, it must be a good camera. The case is real leather. Does he use it? No, it just sits up on the shelf in his closet. Do you think he'd sell it? Oh, I don't see why not. He doesn't use it. 
It just sits up on the shelf in his closet. Are we going to give Daddy the camera? Could we pay him later, like, well, like so much a week? Sure. He isn't using it. Are we? Jeepers, this could be terrific. It's just what Father's always wanted. Are we? Why don't you phone Joe and ask him? How can I? Mom and Dad are in the living room. They'll hear me. Are we? You can go in the den and close the door. They could hear through the door. Are we? Are we what? I forgot. <laughs> Hit the road, shrimp boat. We've got problems. I got problems, too. He's my daddy as much as yours. How could we make some noise while you're phoning so Father wouldn't hear? I can make noise. You never stop. Oh, turn green. Say, wait. <laughs> Maybe she could. Turn green? <laughs> no. Look, why don't we all go downstairs? While you're phoning Joe, Kathy can go in the living room and sing. Father loves to hear her sing, and they won't hear you calling Joe. And while you two are doing that, I'll dig up a card someplace to put on the gift. Okay, let's go. What'll I sing? Oh, sing anything. You know a lot of songs. Come on, hurry. What are we going to get, Daddy? Shh. Bud's going to try to get a camera from Joe. Don't say anything, Shrimp. I won't. Boy, this is fun. I told you we'd get something terrific for Father. Now go on in the den, Bud. Kathy, go in the living room and start singing. And act natural. Okay. We'll let you know when Bud's finished. Okay. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Mommy. Well, hello, kitten. Hello, Angel. What are you doing? Just acting natural. <laughs> oh. Hello, Joe. Is that Bud on the phone? Would you like to hear me sing, Daddy? What? Okay. Oh, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. Well, that was very nice, kitten. <laughs> what prompted this sudden burst of song? We're getting something terrific for Daddy. Yeah, well, look, Joe. Happy. Oh, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. <laughs> Lovely, kitten. Thank you. But uh, why the serenade? It's a secret. Is Bud finished yet? Sure, Joe, but you see... Oh, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. Kathy, dear, maybe some other song. Are you getting tired of that one, Daddy? No, but I feel kind of sorry for that bear. <laughs> Do you think you'll get him over the mountain on the next trip? Kathy, come out in the kitchen. That means Bud's finished. We got it, Daddy. Boy, are you going to be surprised. <laughs> you know, Margaret, I may not be able to endure this suspense. Well, from all appearances, this is going to be the biggest surprise since Columbus discovered America. You shouldn't have let them buy me an expensive present, honey. Dear, I told you, I know nothing about this. They must have been saving up for it all year. Now, what do you suppose it could be? I know it can't be anything less than a yacht or a gold-plated convertible. I'll give you a hint, Daddy. It comes in a fancy case, and you can carry it over your shoulder. Now, what in the world could that... Hey, Kathy! Okay, I'm coming. Upstairs! Gee whiz, make up your mind. Hurry up, Bud. Come in the room. Wait for me. What did you have to spill it to Dad for? I didn't. I just gave him a hand. Quiet and get in the room. Now, what did Joe say? We're sunk. What do you mean? Well, he has that fancy leather case, all right, but there's no camera in it. <laughs> oh, groan. He can't afford a camera, so he just carries the case around. <laughs> now we don't have a present for Daddy? Oh, agony. This is worse than if I'd never said anything to Father. We can't do this to him. We've got to get something. Joe has a left-handed bowling ball that used to belong to his aunt. <laughs> Betty, kids, aren't you ready yet? Not yet, Father. Princess, you kids shouldn't have gone out and spent all your money on me. Oh, don't worry. We'll be down in a minute. Bud, what are we going to do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Well, think harder. I can. I'm getting a Charlie horse in my head. <laughs> Kathy, what are you doing at the window? 
I got to talk to a friend of mine. He'll help us. Santa Claus! Please bring something for Daddy! Kathy, put the window down. It's too late to call for Santa Claus. We can give him my piggy bank. Oh, that's a keen idea. Dad put all the money in it. Well, he'll get it back. That'll be a surprise. Betty. Oh, weeper. Just a minute, Mother. Is anything wrong? No, we'll be down in a minute. We've got to do something. Father will know we're stuck. Being stuck reminds me. I could make some candy for him. Oh, that would be great. You'd make a big hit. Hit. What's the matter? You flip your wig? I've got it. I've got it. Well, what? The big tall package behind the Christmas tree. It's a set of golf clubs for Mr. Phillips. Yeah. Well, they're out of town for Christmas, and Mrs. Phillips left them here so she can give them to Mr. Phillips when they get back. What are you talking about? Well, listen. Father's been wanting a new set of golf clubs. Why don't we take these and give them to Father? We can go to jail that way. Can I go, too? (laughs) Quiet a minute. We'll just borrow the golf clubs for tonight. And tomorrow, we'll all chip in out of our savings and buy another set for Mrs. Phillips. She won't be back till after New Year's, and she'll never know the difference. Hey, not bad. When do we go to jail? (laughs) We're not going to jail. Why not? Relax, knucklehead. This is legal. What's legal? Oh, darn. The package with the golf clubs in it is behind the Christmas tree in the living room. How are we going to get it out without Mother and Father seeing us? Well, doesn't Mom know what's in that package? No. Mrs. Phillips brought it over one day when Mother was out. Now, I know if we can sneak it out of the living room, neither Mother nor Father will miss it. It's kind of hidden behind the tree anyway. We could turn off the lights and Bud could pretend he's a burglar. (laughs) We've got to get them out of the living room. Hey, kids, what's going on? Well, we've got to go down. We're coming, Father. Bud, you kind of stand around the tree and be ready to grab the package, and I'll get them outside somehow. What do I do? You just act natural. Don't do anything. I've got to do something. Well, just do what you usually do. All right, come on, let's go down. No, what do I do? Shh. When I get Mother and Father out of the room, you grab the package with the golf clubs from behind the tree. Take it up to my room. Okay, I'll go over by the tree. Well, we thought you children were lost. Is anything wrong? No, everything's fine. We got a keen surprise for Daddy. Hey, pipe down. (laughs) Well, Christmas night. Isn't it wonderful? Yes. Quite interesting, too. (laughs) What are you kids standing around the room for? You look like you're going into a tea formation. Can I have some tea? (laughs) Something wrong with the Christmas tree, bud? No, I'm just looking at it. Pretty big tree. Mother, have you and Father seen the Christmas star? Come on outside. You can see it just as plain. It's simply gorgeous. We've seen it, Princess. Your mother and I were outside while you kids were upstairs. Oh. Don't you want to sit down, bud? No, I I like to stand here and smell the tree. (laughs) It smells real good. Hurry up, Betty. Now, what kind of a conspiracy is this? It's about your present, Daddy. (laughs) Kathy. Um, Father, you left the car in the driveway. Don't you think you should put it in? Yes, I suppose I'd better. Don't hurry, Daddy. Don't push me, kitten. You'd better go along with him, Mother. Me? Somebody has to open the garage door. Well, all right. You know, I'm probably wrong, Margaret, but I have a vague feeling they're trying to get us out of the house. What gave you that idea? Well, I really don't know. Go on, Daddy. All right. Come on, honey. This is a very mysterious business. Okay, they're gone. Hurry up, bud. Get the package out from behind the tree. Oh, give me a chance. I got to get back in here. Don't knock the tree over. Well, hold it up. You're knocking the icicles off. Holy cow, this thing is big. 
Move the branch. I can't get out. Got the package? Yeah. Let's take it in the den. Hurry up. Oh, give me a chance. Gee, is Daddy going to be surprised? Open the door to the den, somebody. I'll get it. Put it in the middle of the floor. Are we going to give it to him like that? Oh, we can't give it to him in that cardboard carton. Grab some of those Christmas wrappings out of the drawer. That's an awful big box. We've got enough paper, I think. Hurry up, bud. Uh, Get some stickers. Here, hold the paper on this corner. That's going to look swell. Why should we can just get this done before Father comes in. Fold the wrapping over at the end, bud. Don't roll it up. Fold it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hold your finger on this, Kathy. Which one? Your thumb. Your thumb. I got this end fixed. There. How's that? Hey, pretty good. That's the biggest, most beautiful Christmas package anybody ever had. Oh, Father will be delirious, simply delirious. Let's get him in. I gotta see his face when he opens it. Where's the card? I have it right here. I wrote a little note from all of us. Boy, is Dad gonna be happy. Hey, front door. Mother and Father must be locked out. Don't open it yet. Take the package back in the living room and put it by the tree. We all want to be in there when he sees it. Hurry up. I'm hurrying. Don't tear off the wrapping. I'm not. Are you ready, bud? Yeah, it's all set. Let him in. Oh, this is going to be super, super. Okay, Father. Hello, Betty. Mrs. Phillips. Mr. Phillips and I just got home. But I thought you were going to... Yeah, we planned to stay until after New Year's, but the weather forecast said heavy snow, so we decided to get home while we could. Who is it, Betty? Oh, hello, bud. Mrs. Phillips. Yeah, I... At least we got home in time to have our Christmas. While Mr. Phillips was putting the car away, I thought I'd run over and pick up the golf clubs. Oh, yeah. Get the golf clubs, will you, bud? Yeah, sure. I suppose you all had a nice Christmas, hmm? Yes, very nice. I can't wait to see Mr. Phillips when he finds those clubs. He's always wanted them. I know he'll love them. Here you are, Mrs. Phillips. Oh, you wrapped the box, and so beautifully. Oh, thank you, Betty. Oh, that's all right. Can you carry it? Mm, I I think so. Thanks again. Merry Christmas. Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. What happened? Mrs. Phillips came after the club. Now we've got nothing. Well, kids, what's this? Another meeting? Was somebody at the door? Mrs. Phillips, she came after her package. Why the long faces? Tell him, bud. I can't. You tell him. Oh, let's go in the living room and find out what this is all about. You kids look like you've lost your last friend. Maybe we have. Poor Daddy. Now, what is all this? Somebody's got to tell him sometime. Well, we're dying, Father. Simply dying. Oh? We had a real nice present for you. We were going to give you Mr. Phillips' scoff club. <laughs> What's this? We were going to borrow that set that Mrs. Phillips left here and get another one tomorrow. We had them all wrapped up and everything. Then she came after them. We wanted to do something nice for you, Father. All we have left now is the card. Here. Do you mean that you kids have been struggling around here all evening just to find a Christmas present for me? Everybody else got nice things, Daddy, and you didn't get anything. Oh, kitten, I had a wonderful Christmas. Yeah, necktie, nail file, and that Christmas card. I feel dreadful, just dreadful. Oh, now, Princess. Now, what's this on the card? We wrote you a note. What did it say, dear? To Father, may this bring you much happiness... And remind you how much all of us love you. Signed, Betty, Bud, and Kathy. (laughs) Margaret, kids, come here where I can put my arms around you. We're sorry, Father. We tried, Dad. You know something? All the golf clubs and briefcases and expensive presents in the world can't take the place of what you give from your heart. And this little Christmas card is the nicest gift of all. Join us again next 
next week when we'll be back with Bother No Best, starring Robert Young as Jim Anderson. In our cast were Helen Strom as Kathy, Dorothy Lovett, Rhoda Williams, and Ted Donald. Father Knows Best was transcribed in Hollywood and written by Paul West. This is Bill Foreman speaking. Guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere. And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.